Welcome America. You are now watching Retro Arcade Reviews. This is your greatest source for quality arcade reviews. Don't and please, 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 don't forget to subscribe. Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John and in this episode we will be reviewing the arcade classic Strider. Strider is a side-scrolling platformer that was developed by Capcom in 1988. Now Strider is one of my top 10 favorite arcade games of all time. But I didn't play this game initially in the arcades. I first played this game on the Sega Genesis and was immediately hooked. I bought the game because on the cover it showed that it had 8 mega memory. Now I wasn't a tech head back then and really had no idea what that meant exactly but I knew it was good somehow. I bought the game and it didn't disappoint. I never saw a game like it before and the game was awesome. I must have played it like a million times. I mean the character had a super cool saber, ran, jumped and grabbed things like a gymnast and had these palm sweating moments that were amazing. If you're a first time player, you just didn't know what to expect next. Then I ran into the arcade cabinet in a flea market and was totally amazed to see how close it was visually to the Genesis port. I mean the arcade version was still better in terms of graphics but a lot of the arcade to home ports during the 16-bit era were pretty close to their coin-op originals. And since I played the game so much on the Genesis, I could manage to get through the game on a single coin. Two coin tops. However, I have to say that the ending for the Genesis version was a lot better. In this game, you play as Hyrule, a member of an organization of high-tech ninjas known as Striders. You are tasked to eliminate a dictator by the name of the Grandmaster who has taken over the world. You have to flip, jump, and slice your way through five stages of Grandmaster weirdness. And what do I mean when I say weirdness? I mean you have to fight robots with furry hats, pirates, Amazonian women, a Boba Fett knockoff, politicians that combine to form a centipede-like creature, a trio of martial arts ladies, robot gorillas, robot dinosaurs, and more. This game is like all over the place. Strider the Arcade Game was part of a three-way project by Capcom to come up and promote a new character which inevitably was Hyrule. The three-way project consisted of an NES game, an arcade game, and a manga to promote the character. Koichi Yatsui, also known as Isuke, also the background designer for Ghouls and Ghosts, was tasked with directing Strider because of his experience with the CP system hardware and for his quote unquote people skills. The three projects were developed independently of each other and were released around the same time. Another interesting aspect of Strider was its music direction, which ranged from an assortment of classical, tribal, and experimental, which changed depending on the situation in the game. The soundtrack was such an important aspect for Isuke that it was a constant source of contention between him and the game's music composer, Junko Tamiya. Strider was was a popular arcade game which was made even more popular with its numerous home ports and its somewhat okay sequels and remakes. I wasn't a big fan of those sadly to say, which is surprising because when Capcom stumbles upon a winning formula, they really tend to milk it with numerous sequels without deviating too much from the formula. But with Strider, for some reason, they just couldn't pull it off. And believe me, I've been waiting for like 30 years for a worthy follow-up game only to be disappointed at every turn. But fret not though, Strider always returns as a playable character in the Marvel vs. Capcom series and I believe Marvel vs. Capcom does a great job with the Strider character, keeping the legacy of Strider Hyrule alive and well. Strider is still an all-out great game with an awesome soundtrack that has garnered a legion of loyal fans with tons of articles and retrospectives. Again, this game is part of my personal top 10. I consider it a work of art and I say play the game and let me know what you think. <laughs> 